It would appear that the entire Symes expedition perished in the Antarctic, most likely overwhelmed by a Pandoran forces as they tried to retrieve a mysterious metallic sphere of antediluvian origin. That sphere is now in our possession. It's up to us to figure out what it is and how it might help us save Earth. For an attack and our materials, prepare the sphere for study. Uh, we need to go hit... Shh. Lord. I'm running out of time. I have my answer, but it's not what I wanted. The antediluvians. They were like us. Then... The Pandora virus came. It destroyed everything. In the end, they found a solution, but at a terrible cost. They created a weapon, the Virophage, that destroyed the Pandora virus and themselves. A whole civilization lost to give us a chance. And we. We wasted it. All this for nothing. This is where it ends. I keep thinking maybe we are all children of the Pandora virus. But the sphere, my God, the sphere. All right. New research. Virophage weapons and virophage entity. We can also adapt a weakened, highly modified form of the antediluvian virophage into weapons for our operatives. The existence of the telepathic nodules suggests the possibility that whatever created the Pandora virus is controlling the Pandorans directly. We must find out more about this entity. Mutant Year Zero. Yeah, it's still on my to do list. Definitely want to some at some point. Uh, we need to go take out some citadels or something. Do we know where one is right now? Because when we hit 90%, it's going to not be good at all. We actually don't know where one is right now. Wait, there's one. There's a citadel. All right, we need to go take that out. So, Phoenix 1, or Manticore 1, rather. Move there. Manticore 2. Move there. It's a lot of mist. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite a high number. It's a little bit up there. Maybe we'll just go explore with this person. If they get ambushed, then they get ambushed. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see. New Jericho Haven. I'm sorry, New Jericho. You're too far away. On a mission to make Earth Mars? Yeah, I'm working for the crab people. Apparently crab people love Mars. PHB 3, well, that's where we're on our way to. We might not get there in time, though. And that's where our research centers are. Uh, we're on our way, but... Might not make it in time. Crab people, crab people. No, that base is gone. Nowhere near going to make it in time, so... Let's go ahead and sell everything. Right? There's no way. No, we're halfway across the friggin' planet. Alright. PHB 3. Sell all the things. When they get there, there'll be nothing here for them. Uh, what's that put our research on? One day, ten hours. Why am I selling everything? Because they're going to destroy the base. There's no way to save it at all. There's We don't have a single person there, and it's under attack. So, if they destroy it, we get nothing. So. 
92%. Uh, we missed it. Shocking reports are flooding in from havens all around the world. People are losing their minds, harming themselves and their friends, screaming about the king in the heavens whose command they cannot bear. It's difficult not to lose hope. We have to keep fighting. Ugh. Our armies are more dedicated to the task than ever, with the feeling of despair recently hangs over the world is taking its toll. Minus 30 health, minus 35 stamina. Who's doing the selling? Good question. Able to sell stuff at a base under attack? Well, it's not under attack yet. We know it's going to be under attack. We got word that the Pandorans are on their way there. Quarter med bay. It's going to be going down, yeah. Alright. Welp. That really sucks. But we were in friggin' Antarctica. Fifteen hours left. Mist was from flooding. Flooding. Uh, the mist isn't from flooding. All the stuff about flooding, they're talking about way in the past, before humans even existed. Before the flood. Which is what antediluvian means. So it basically means before humans. Before, like, the... The Gilgamesh or biblical flood, so to say. Pandora virus. Yeah, I mean, so... Yeah, there's a lot of different things that are being talked about in it, but don't pay don't pay attention to the lore. Gotta listen to the lore, man. Come on. Lore matters. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the polar ice caps melted and that released some stored up Pandora virus, apparently. Um that has been on the earth for millions of years. Our analysis of the antediluvian text, combined with the knowledge gathered by the Phoenix Project over the course of the last century, has forced us to acknowledge a shocking truth. The war against Earth is being waged by an alien entity. This being of unimaginable age and power is located on Yagoth, the ninth planet of our solar system. <gasps> planet X! Yagoth's orbit is highly elliptical, coming close to Earth once every 17,000 years. When it does, Yagoth expels meteorites carrying various iterations of the Pandora virus, a bioweapon intended to radically transform the Earth's ecosystem to the advantage of the y Yagothian entity. The entity communicates with its creatures via some form of quasi-telepathic signal. Evidence suggests that some human beings are sensitive to these transmissions, explaining the occurrence of the name Yagoth and variations thereof in the work of artists such as H.P. Lovecraft, Virginia Gutierrez, John Belairs, Ralph Pabodi, and many others. The presumably, uh, this presumably represents an earlier, less powerful expression of the phenomenon we have termed oniric delirium. We have concluded that the ultimate purpose of the entity is to create the ecological conditions that will allow it to come to Earth and have hypothesized the existence of the Ugothian receptacle, a clone of or replica to which the entity will transfer its consciousness. We believe the Pandorans are already in the process of accumulating biomass and genetic material for this purpose. No, not Planet X, Planet IX. Get it? Roman numerals. Your goth is a jerk. It's true. Actual great old ones, yeah. Futures at Lovecraft. Yeah, it's been very Lovecraftian the whole time with the whole fish people from the sea trying to take over using psychic nightmares and whatever. Fish people from the Blackwater stories. From XCOM to Darkest Dungeon. Yeah. What do you want, cat? Oh, it's lore time. Finally, we knew our enemy. The Pandora virus was only a tool. It was the hand that wielded it that truly mattered. The creature we came to call the Ugothian Entity. It was old, perhaps older than the solar system itself. On Ugoth, the ninth planet, it lay waiting. 
for thousands of years. It slept in the outer darkness. But when Yugoth's orbit approached the Earth, it expelled the seeds of our destruction. Its mind reached out, haunting our dreams, infesting our stories. Its ultimate purpose was to transform our world into its own, to recreate whatever long-lost abyss it had come from. Its creatures were already assembling a new body it could inhabit. And when they were done, when the Ugothian entity came to Earth, nothing could stand in its way. That's a big entity. Cthulhu himself. Lightness is here to protect us. Old-fashioned aberrations. Know thy enemy. Finally, we have revealed the true enemy behind the Pandora virus, the Ugothian entity. For New Jericho, this is excellent news. Finally, a proper war with clear sides, and they know which side they're on. There's no more time for traitors or accommodationism. Or this. For Synedrian, it's now a question of philosophy. Do they want to seize the master's tools and transform the world, or destroy this cosmic hierarchy and let things take their own course? The answer will have to be reached democratically. The disciples of Anu have no official statement on any parallels between the Yagothian entity and their death god. The liturgy of the divine flesh draws close, and they have more important things to focus on than the ravings of those trapped in ideologies of the old world. Hear me out. Blow it up with grenades. Lots of grenades. I did Lunar. Lunar, we borrowed your clothes again earlier. I hope you don't mind. For Tobias West's plan to save humanity to work, he aims to organize production and deployment of a global scale, far greater efficiency. A centralized AI means to achieve this. All base facilities output is increased by 50%. Oh, my lord. Six days, six hours. So we're going to have to try to find more citadels to take out. The Cthulhu Project, yeah. Ugh, because we're at 92 friggin' percent here. Please, find some citadels or something. Okay, so they're gonna heal up there. Yeah, we're on our way to one citadel, but we're gonna need more. Because the citadel only takes out like 3 or 4 percent. Unfortunately. From a game over, yeah. Wakes up the other old god, so maybe him, but looks more like Shogoth kind of thing. Alright, so as soon as that team heals up, which is gonna take a while. Head out. Hey, we found another Siddle! Hooray! It's a bug since the game is supposed to let you scan for nest layer citadels. It doesn't actually do anything. What do you mean? You have to get the technology. So here's the thing. Once you get the technology to scan for citadels and things, you have to uh, rescan those areas. That's what sucks. That's how we found this one. So uh, we actually did a scan over here and found like three at once. But it's annoying that you have to rescan places. I guess it kind of makes sense, but... Scan it doesn't always find anything new. Even though there was a citadel there, it didn't find it? Yeah, that does sound like a bug. Borrow any of your dresses or skirts? No, just pants. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Pepper! 23 months, Pepper. Thank you for the resub. Did Resorty send you over here with that raid? Or did you come back on your own? Either way, thank you, Pepper. Uh, Love and Sandwich is a Pepper who has been here forever. In fact, since the very first ever Resorty raid, which is apparently was 23 months ago. Thank you, Pepper. Sub goal, just pants. Keep them, thanks. We could do a giveaway later. Welcome to hell. Our operatives have sat down outside an old prison facility. The whole place is still locked up tight using some heavy cutting equipment. Our people have been able to get inside. Hey, Rudy. Welcome back. Hey, doing, Rudy? There's hundreds of corpses in here, all in various states of decomposition. The smell is terrible. What's truly horrifying is to think that all these people are just left to die, not even given a chance to fight for their lives. Search the prison. We only have one person. Our operatives brave the awful conditions and manage to gather up all the resources they can find. The worst 
find of all is that there was food in the storage rooms while people starved in their cells. Plus 90 materials, plus 90 food, minus 5 stamina. Mist makes more sense now. The mist and the delirium are separate. So even if you put stations up to get rid of the mist, like if you side with Synedrian or get Synedrian tech some way, and you remove mist, it still doesn't remove the percentage. The only, the only way to remove the percentage is through uh, nest layers and citadels, as far as I'm aware. Bad news for the star. Yeah, they're already dead. They already starved, so. It's not like they're going to miss it, you know? Another new Jericho Haven. It's fallen. Sucks for them. Uh. Cold, both of you. Uh. All right, we're healed up. Oh, crap. The number three has encountered a large group of Anu pilgrims following the path to the something ziggurat. A nearby sacred site said to bring peace and oneness with the dead god. Despite the extreme danger of such travel, they are only lightly armed. Accompany them? Sure. Big thing for the mythos, yeah. yeah. The pilgrims are a merry lot, and at our offer of assistance, they spontaneously break into song. Making so much noise seems quite foolish. By the time they've arrived at the ziggurat, it's hard not to admit that they understand this world and know how to move within it. We might actually be able to learn a lot just by watching them. 30 skill points? Awesome. You would have been ship on pronouncing that too? Yeah. Hesh. Heshastic. It's probably just something like that. Or either Hesychastic, but that doesn't sound right. It's probably Heshastic. Alright. To the Citadel. Hopefully there's only one uh, at the Citadel. Uh, only one Scylla thing. Yep. See, this is one of the things I wish I had done uh, at the beginning of the game, is send one craft, one cheap craft, with one person to go explore. Alright, it's Citadel time. <clears throat> also, I've given up on capturing one of these for this. Which, it's alright. Okay. So, for Count Me Out uh, on this mission, I'm actually going to get rid of the pistol. I'll just give you more ammo. Okay. Marquis, fine as is. Make pie, good to go. Breaks is good to go. Version 3 won't be going. Sorry, version 3. It's definitely not my fault. I haven't given you more items so you can join us. Uh, I think I'll put a med kit on Lunar. I need to make one med kit. One med kit. Salim, same thing. I'm gonna take the pistol off. Whoops. Excuse me. Stop picking up that. I mean, it's me doing it. I'm not sure who I'm talking to. Okay. Ants. Good to go. We're just gonna try to blow through this thing as fast as we can. We can save this run. Maybe. Okay, so I just need to make one med kit and then we should be good to go. Med kits are instant to make them. I don't know why. It's a good thing though. All right, so who needed the med kit? It was Lunar, right? Yeah. Okay, we also got those uh, shared points now. Um, hmm. Let's see. 
Salim already has Rage Burst. So they're fine to go. Furby has Adrenaline Rush. Shotgun damage, gotta remember that. So we might put some points in them to get them in range more quickly. Damage bonus, minus 20, no. Gain sniper rifle. Nope. <laughs> Run, you can save this. Yeah, I, we left that on a really big cliffhanger. We have Rage Burst to Seraph. We have multiple people that can run in shotgun rage burst. McPie. Plus two willpower, take him up to 22. It's kind of interesting too. A single rage burst, long range, do the job easily. Yeah. Yeah, we have one person that can shred if they can actually hit. Oh, I need to uh, use get fast use. Fast use is really important, so we can uh, use that turret like crazy. Troops. I just spread some health. Honestly. I think we're good to go. Alright, who all am I gonna take? Uh, let me look at rakes really quick. Manufacturing interface. Uh, I think that's okay, actually. Alright. <clears throat> so we need to take count me out we need to take Salim. those are our uh, kill our Scylla killers step for the armor shred okay and then I'm going to take rakes for the turrets uh, the turrets not only are they good for damage but if you put them in front of your team the enemies are likely to attack them first so they're kind of uh, there for tank purposes as well okay Furby. Don't know that I'm going to take Marky this time. He has... I mean, he can fire two grenades. So maybe. I'll take McPie. Hmm. Lunar and one more. Yeah, I mean, that's more... You died. No, you're back at the base. We have uh, six people back at a base. You leaving? Do anything? Let me know, okay. We have six people back defending one of our bases. You see yourself in? See, there's a Sinua sequel. Yeah, yeah, I watched the uh, trailer for it on stream one night. At the end of stream. Yeah, I'm gonna take Marky. All right, let's go. Looks amazing. Well, it's hard to tell. It's a cinematic. Um, it worries me a little bit, which I talked about, but it's new with Saga is co-op. I don't know. They didn't really show anything of what it is, but the cinematic was awesome, but who knows what the game's going to be like. The first game was such an all-encompassing standalone story. And I'm not going to say how it ends for people that didn't see the ending. But it ends in a way that changes what your perception of what all has happened previously in that game. Changes what you think that is. And the second game seems to undo that based on a cinematic. Or do it again. It's hard to tell. 
fighters. Yeah, but who knows? Who knows? All right. There's a Scylla. Looks like there, there could be two. There could be one back here that we don't see yet. <clears throat> uh, worm launchers. That's good. Better than any other kind of launcher. So we're just going to move forward and uh, see what we can spot. So step, you're going to do the initial scouting here. Going to move you up here. You can't capture them in this mission specifically this mission says kill so it doesn't like it doesn't end the mission by capturing them unfortunately so nope okay so there is a siren over there scouting i.e baits <laughs> yeah. pretty much we didn't spot one back there which is good so there might not be one back there. The siren being right there, she can move and mind control 20 spaces, the combination. So that worries me. She doesn't know that we're here yet, I don't think. What's her perception? 30. Uh, she might actually know that we're here. Guess we'll wait and see. We'll just set up a bunch of overwatches and turrets and see what happens, I suppose. Okay. Worm launchers are good for us, in a way, because uh, we're not going to be bombarded with explosives, but also bad because turrets will fire at the, at the worms and could hit our own people. Give the uh, yeah, so upset. Isn't the greatest thing? It's the slice bread. No, it's real upset by that though. You're right. Easier than layer nest in a way. So the objective is firing range. Yeah, I've said that before too. I think the citadels are easier. I agree with that. Lunar, that's what, that's what you get. Talk about Greedfall in a positive way and then you die. As it should be. <laughs> so I'm going to throw the turrets up here. That way, if a worm is back here, hopefully the turret doesn't shoot the worm. It just doesn't shoot at all. That's what I'm going to hope anyway. Okay, Rakes' turrets are up there. I want to get one of our snipers up here for next round. But I don't want to go so far up that they're going to be the ones targeted. Moving to position. Uh, it's right on top of the tower. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm trying to... I don't know. Maybe, maybe that would have been okay. I'm going to try and put this so that it shoots at the siren. <clears throat> well, that one went tile. Styles, walking, multiple units, one. Oh, you can, you can stack the turrets. I've never even tried it. That seems kind of not good, though, because it, this is a grenade launcher, so he could damage both with one grenade. But that is interesting that it lets you do that. Hate not to have cover over here, but I really want to set up some more overwatches. I 
Got this cover. No, you have no cover. Don't lie to me. Making haste. All right. Which one is it? It's blaster. No, uh, yeah, it's a blaster variant. Don't be hasty. Alerted. So these are gonna fire worms this round, most likely. I don't know. Nope. Good snipe. The unfortunate thing about that snipe is now coming out has one less shot on the the boss next round, but. A big boy, yeah, or girl, they're queens. Which one are the drones? Who gets to mate with that big, big thing? Oh, that was a really bad Overwatch. Probably, if that's the only Scylla, we're probably just gonna win next round. Citadels feel much easier than the other types, like we were talking about. Like, if we had to kill all these, that would suck. But maybe they should change that. Maybe you should have to wipe the whole map. 100% tag us to mate with him. What a lucky guy. Now we have had uh, citadels that had multiple. Multiple Scylla. Alright, <laughs> that siren's gone. Uh, this isn't one, one of those. So first we're going to do Armor Shred. So we're going to... Uh, do we even need Boom Blast? No. Actually, let's do Boom Blast in two Armor Breaks rather than using Adrenaline Rush. I think that's better over, overall. So Boom Blast allows us to shoot two grenades. Let's Armor Break. Shred. <laughs> Shut everybody off, yeah. Alright, step. Surely you can hit this. It's like a walking barn. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Pain chameleon. Alright, so armor break again. Shoot that barn. Comes out of having lower level terrain. Can make a maze, basically. Yeah. I've used it to hide down in, but I did th when I first saw it, I thought that was gonna be a much bigger problem than it is. Uh wow, we've like shredded all the armor, so it's dead. Don't call him surely. Alright, GG. Uh, whoops. It's kind of ridiculous how uh, these have become so easy. They're just supposed to be like the super hard thing, you know? I want no parts in your anus party, oh god. I used to be Kitan's favorite. Who? Alright, Citadel done, we took no damage. <laughs> GG. Someone says, we fall in chat. There is a command that allows anyone to attack versus Dame. The message deleted, timed out for one minute. <laughs> I could set that up, actually. All right, so we pushed back the index. It was at 92%. We know where another Citadel is, too. Nah. Shepard would be getting banned, out, banned all the time. Actually, I don't know if how I'd make it detect whether it's true if they... With the bot I have, if they said Greedfall or not. Well, that only moved it 1%. On our side. And everyone here at Sinedrio really appreciates that. 
Please understand that we are cautious with organizations such as the Phoenix Project. Not because we're trying to be obstinate. That's true too, Drew. We've had some pretty terrible experiences that we prefer not to repeat. You know that I have high hopes for an alliance between the Phoenix Project and Synedrium. So my advice is this. What would be really helpful right now would be a more direct demonstration of your support. That could really win some hearts and minds. So we made it out of not Britain yet. So what probably happened is it actually pushed three percent down, but we got two percent during the time pass. So it looks like it only dropped one percent, and it did net. But I think it went to ninety-four and then down to ninety-one. I hope. At this moment, we have a oh couple God, of Trevor. important projects running. I don't know, man. The sort that could actually change the. It was at ninety-five. My bad. Like I thought it was at ninety-two for some reason. Which may allow us to peacefully coexist with the new ecology or deploying a new breed of modified plant to help us reclaim the planet for ourselves. Believe me when I say we've had a lot of debates about which approach is better, and there are some pretty opinionated factions forming. In any case, we're lacking enough people to support both projects at once, and it's a bit of a deadlock. So if you could lend a hand with one of them, that would mean a lot. Mr. Pellet, please make a new game called Breedfall. It's for adults only. Zara will be pleased to hear that. I'm not going to have time to go do any of this. one of the most passionate advocates of, well, some people would say the original values of Synedrium. But it's hardly that simple. She's part of a loose coalition called the Polyphonic Tendency, which advocates solutions that reject all hierarchies, all forms of domination. Nikolai, on the other hand... Oh dear, I'm involving you in Synedrium drama. Sure are. My apologies. Good luck with the mission. It's okay. Don't let it happen again. Mr. Pillar sound really useful. They were a lot more useful earlier in the game. <sighs> Alright. So now we need to get to this one. It's the only other one we know about at the moment. Hey, orchestra. Uh, a little bit. How you doing, orchestra? Good to see you. Had time to do any more Sekiroing? The Orrery. Number three has landed outside a wealthy estate. The whole place looks abandoned, and it's completely overgrown. The security fence has been smashed down by a truck. Our operatives struggle through the undergrowth until they find a huge, rusted model of the solar system and Orrery. Hey, there was one of those in... Um, the Outer Worlds in that town that I murdered. Built right here in someone's garden. Our operatives take several pictures for study. The planets and moons are to scale, but there seems to be several unidentified objects on the model. According to whoever built this, there are at least 12 planets in our solar system with several objects on huge orbits far beyond Pluto and Neptune. The estate has been looted, but it looks like looters were mainly after food. There are still a few items, plus 10 or 15 tech, 300 materials. And cold blood. They came after me first. They knew what they're getting into. Good grief, man. Oh no. Can we make it we might can make it there in time. God, we're getting attacked so often now. Barely gonna friggin' miss it. Because you never played. So. Outer Worlds. Gotcha. I liked Outer Worlds a whole lot. Uh, I've been waiting to ask hint as to where the first purple ninja is. See you in the Hirana State or the Ishina outskirts. I will tell you the first purple ninja is near. You know the first guy you get to that has a, the sphere? 
uh, spear, no, spear, not sphere, uh, were the uh, first guy you ran into with a spear, and there's like a pagoda nearby. Do you know what I'm talking about? And you can sneak on the grass on both sides. We're gonna miss that just by, just barely, maybe. Uh, and they don't have gear, so I gotta give them gear. Uh, this is rough, so. I don't really wanna lose that base either. What is there? It's mainly training facilities. We could actually destroy some of those now that we're not training newbies as much. Yeah, the, Shino the first Shinobi hunter, he's dressed almost like a priest or whatever, and he has a spear. And there's a guy walking around. There's like two guys right before him on a bridge-ish with like shields or whatever. All right. I don't know why I keep trying to put that on as pants. Yeah, no problem. Or sorry, I couldn't remember the name of all the places. It's been so long since I played it. So we need to strip some people down. So Salim and Count Me Out, for instance. Uh. I don't think orchestra wanted to know exactly where it is. They said, give them a hint without, give them a hint where the purple ninja is. I wasn't gonna tell her to follow the river, but. Um, which plane is the furthest away? This one might actually get there. So we need to strip people that are in Manticore 2. Okay, so Tet through Seraph. Man. It's gonna really suck. You find it. Hope so. It's so tempting just to let that base go at this point, but I don't think I should. Base is just a bunch of snipers, pretty much. Just give you some kind of armor. Even if it's not what you usually wear. Just to have something. Base defense has three level. Maybe the facility can be your base. I don't know. We've done a lot of base defenses though. I've never seen a Scylla invade a base, but. Man. Oh, they're so close. Oh well. Do we need to be a nudist? Good luck, newbies. Meantime, back to 94%. Yeah, it's crazy. 
<sighs> I got way behind early game. That's what happens when you play blind, I guess. It took us almost three months. Well, to the end of a, the second month to find our second Phoenix base. We'd be in such, such good shape if I had found a Phoenix base earlier. Because our research and stuff was so slow. I haven't seen a Scylla invade yet. Yeah, I haven't either. The highest tech unit that's invaded the base is a Siren. They usually send two or three Sirens. Alright. Hey look, two Sirens. Three Arthrons. That's all we can see. At the moment. Uh, this might be kind of rough. Alright, Armadillo, where are you? Where are you, Armadillo? Why are you so far away? <laughs> Probably can't fit through the front gate. Yeah, I don't think they can invade. Because I, I doubt it could... Cr I don't think this is destructible at its core, so I don't think it could even come through that door. Okay, so we got Grunt with a Rage Burst right here. We take out that. Inspector also has a Rage Burst. So we need to take out both Sirens right now. Uh, where's everyone else, though? Pretty far away. So Trevor, we can get you ready for next round. Which you're not re really going to be doing anything this round. Just really well. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. Varamo. No time to waste. The thing is, if you can kill all of them on this first round, reinforcements don't get to come. Which is really nice. But I don't think there's any way we kill them all this round. We could kill the two Sirens, though, to prevent Frenzy, but then we might lose someone. Uh, let's see, two different grenade variants, all three machine gun variants. Uh, so, we could rage burst and get them around the corner. They might still get killed by grenades. But I still think it's probably worth it. They also only have the Phoenix Sniper, which kind of sucks. No, no armor pin on there. Let's look at it, though. We still kill. Alright, let's do it. And siren down. This is a this would be a really easy group to kill through if we had like any assaults with us, but we don't. Four Arthrons, man. Four Arthrons. Okay. So basically Inspector can kill this one and then they're probably going to die. Or we can run them back for next round. And Grunt might die. I'm really worried about her frenzying them. And that's what's going to happen. Like, if, if we don't kill her this round, she's going to frenzy. And these will have 50% additional movement speed and be able to attack after they're done with it. But next round will be much better off because we get the vehicle up here. We have a pistol shot on it. We can take a lot of pistol shots. Uh, what kind of damage are we looking at? Hmm. Done. Gotta get ready for work, Silly. They were hanging out for so long. Have a good night, Silly. So what are our options here? We could take... We can mark for death and take a bunch of pistol shots. Who else has a pistol? So Inspector has... Does not have a pistol. We only have one. 
I don't think there's any way we kill with just the pistol. Our community. Needs to go. I yeah, but our only clear way of killing her, unfortunately. Well, I don't know. We could actually quick aim as well, and then have two action points and and get back. It's still not great, but at least it's better cover. Uh, Soch or so. I don't have a ratchet name, but thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So we could quick aim this. Uh, they don't have Rage Burst anyway, so I think Mark for Death is fine. If they Mark for Death, that's four. Takes them down to 14. And then we have... We can do five pistol shots. Yeah, disabling the head, yeah. She wouldn't be able to frenzy either. All right, let's go for it. Let's mark her for death. See how the quick aim looks. Welcome in. Did I get your name right? Yeah, the frenzy is a big issue. Let me look at... Oh, this isn't the frenzy variant. She's acid spray, psychic scream. So it's not as bad as I thought. Still though. damage not bad all right let's do it gotta kill as much as we can this round because we don't know what we're gonna get reinforced with and we don't have very many people here to defend we're just doing center of mass so we have best shot at hitting her let's go ahead and uh no let's just keep doing the quick game Only we all had pistols. I really thought the other, uh, yeah, that was really good. I mean, all together, that was a very nice round by them. We still have one shot. Not as good, obviously, but. Uh, anyway, I really thought the other ship was going to get here in time. So we could get her into bleed range with quick aim and then get back to this cover but I think inspector might die even at that cover uh, let's see That's all we can do, though. Yeah, she, was di she dies to it. Let's do it. They have our better uh, sniper rifle, too. Targeting. Minus five will to each of them. How close? We're still at ten, though. So... Is it possible we kill one? I don't think so. Yeah, 240 damage, no. Three grenades, four machine guns. See, I think Inspector might be dead. So it's almost like I should just take a shot on one and do damage before they get attacked. Or I can move here and hopefully they miss a lot of their attacks. I mean, that's pretty decent cover, but the grenades don't won't really care about that. I think we try to keep them alive. Uh, another siren's probably gonna reinforce cover they have to leave themselves out in the open yeah they don't have to come that far over to hit with grenades the only thing there's so many of them all right that's all we can really do the good thing is these are our newbies right so these are people that we're not using out on main missions so if we lose some of these people it's not the end of the game or the end of the world, you know? Let's see, another Arthron. 
That's it. Goodbye, Inspector. <laughs> Hopefully not, but maybe. Oh, that one's just now alerted. Wait, these might not even be alerted yet. Is it possible to watch from higher ground? Yeah, you can definitely do that. Um, the only high ground near them, though, is a like a little causeway. Like this little walkway. Which is pretty exposed. Yeah, so they weren't even activated yet. So, that was actually really good for us. We need to make way for our vehicle. Crabman does nothing. Turn in. So yeah. Very good for us. Okay. Alright, Orchestra, let's move you over here. And let's see. They all have shots of that one. Can we move our vehicle this round too? How far over can we move it? Yeah, so we can actually move our vehicle for kind of like literally tanking for us after these shots, so. Let's go ahead and take these shots. Quick game. Zooming in. Boom. Quick game again. Oh, hey, it's you. It's Orchestra. It is. Here you are, Orchestra. Time to shoot things. Uh, let's see. Be best to shoot it in the arm, as far as that being the lowest armor, because you have you don't have armor piercing. Head is the second best because it has twenty. The arm is not a very good shot. I would say it's about a fifty percent to hit the arm. So let's just go for the head. Bitter head disabled. Uh, you also don't have armor piercing. That's all right. Another quick aim. Drop our sniper cost down to two from three. Oh, crap. I had already moved you. Whoops. That was a slight mistake. It's all right, though. Small mistake, at least. have like 400 500 hp yeah we've had some pretty uh beefy invasions this is not one see so you actually have quick aim so grunt uh could we just rage burst that i mean we could <laughs> there's nothing stopping us uh, that's a really bad shot. Yeah, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do that. That would be really bad. All right, so we'll quick aim instead. Shoot the one on the right. Uh, they can get reinforcements the next round too. That's also not the greatest shot, honestly. Because we don't have armor piercing. Hit it, though. Back into cover with you. Okay. What do we have left? We have... Let's see. Orchestra is out of moves. We have the armadillo. Trevor has pistol remaining, but like the odds of it hitting are very low, but we might as well take it. Because if it does, this thing will bleed out. Maybe. Let's update, so updated. Guess what? You still don't have them? Play this map. It's a defense map, yeah. So it's the same base we've been defending almost every time. So yeah, we did it. we've defended this base like three or four times. Okay. 
We can finish that one off for sure. Probably even from just where we are. Let's quick aim it. You have all nine options. Hooray! Maybe I can just no longer worry about um, redoing all the channel point stuff. I was about to. I was about to move them all back onto the bot. So now we bring the armadillo up to literally tank for us. Same now. Hooray! Yeah, another Arthron. Reinforcement. We gotta get up there and stop this reinforcing. It only took them like two months to do it. That's a new Twitch record. Whoa! He ignored the tank. Uh oh. Okay, it's in the tank. <laughs> Zero damage. Ha ha ha. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're dead. Oh, lucky. Some of that hit the, uh, some of that actually hit the, uh, weapon rather than them. Didn't even disable their arm. Do we have a heal on someone? I think we have some heals in, in, in the inventory. Yep. Yeah. So they can actually heal themselves. Lucky, lucky. Probably should have seen if they could kill first. Alright, so we got four of these. We can get two shots in with the armadillo itself. I think we're just going to move you back into cover. Okay. So we can get one shot there. We can even just rage burst kill that one, but then they're left out. Uh, does anyone else have a shot from anywhere this round? They have a shot, but again, they're going to be left out. So we'd have to make sure we kill both of those. Or all three of those, rather. Alright, let's just lead with the tank. Kill what we can kill. Might even just get that one into bleed out range or just flat out kill it. Can you run them over? No, unfortunately. <laughs> that did less than I wanted it to. Well, it's dead now, but our tank can't move anymore. It's all right. That's okay. So I'm going to just overwatch with our snipers this way. Right through there. Don't want to shoot our own tank. We're going to use the control wheel to make this a nice tight sniping spot here. He's out of stock. I know. My wife is really, really not feeling well tonight. Worse, worse than usual, unfortunately. Uh, do I move Inspector? I don't think so. I think we just set him up for an Overwatch. Better soon. Yeah, me too. Me too, of course. Uh, all right. I think that's it. We got Overwatch is set up. We got our tank tanking. Yeah, he's probably just gonna. He's probably just gonna shoot it twice. They might even destroy this soon. Fire or something? No. I did stack smoke. 
not migraines. Yeah, they might destroy our tank. I was hoping it would last one more round. This guy's gonna do about that same amount. Actually more, cause the armor's shredded now. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. One hit away. That sucks. <clears throat> Uh, but it's okay. It's alright. Because we're just going to set up overwatches. No, my wife hasn't been feeling well for a long time. And today it's worse. Uh, we could take a shot and then still get back into that cover. I think I'll do that. So move here. Quick aim. I guess I should say worse than she has been rather than worse than usual. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have the armor piercing one. So this isn't going to do an incredible amount of damage. But it is damage. So we'll take it. Goodbye, tank. I guess it did its job. It did save some people from dying. So with courage, I can beat this game. Oh, I know I can beat the game. Maybe not on this playthrough, though. But someday. Thanks, R squared. A base full of newbie snipers. It's gonna be okay. Hope so. Don't know. Enemy spotted. Come on, good Overwatch. Yeah, ninety damage. Good, good. Courageous Tet. Powerful Kane. Courageous R squared. We're all these virtues. Down in two snipes. That's good. Our community grows. Static smoke. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, smoke. Spotted. Overwatch, turn ended. So we know there's two left up. Alright, so they have Overwatch. Um, it's fine. We can kill him. Get close to it anyway. I do, by the way, Kane. Welcome in. Welcome back in. Uh, they need to update that. It didn't show the return fire. It didn't show the return fire icon. So they increased their perception with the patch that came out yesterday from 20 to 25. So we lost. We lost one of our noobs. Well, that really sucks. But it didn't show the icon. What? That was orchestra too. Whoops. <laughs> Let's see. We I would have taken this shot. Uh, so there is a icon. I'll show it. Well, I can't show it because it'll get us in trouble. Ready to fire. This isn't showing it either. I wonder if that one's gonna do it. There's a return fire Overwatch icon, and I looked for it and it didn't show it. But Online. oh well, nothing else I can do. Well, Phoenix Point. Yeah. That sucks. I wouldn't have taken that shot if I had seen the Overwatch, but it just didn't show it. Virtual, and you died. Apparently, they removed it on purpose. But I saw it earlier tonight. So, is it a bug that we didn't just see it, or is it a bug that I saw it earlier? It's overkill, I know. That's all right. Down the death blow as well. Jeez, orchestra. <sighs> so we lost orchestra on the last turn due to there not being an icon. 
You want your game too? Don't think they removed it? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think so. That really sucks. I don't know. Maybe it was a bug. Bolio, welcome in. How you, Bolio? Libertus, how you doing? Welcome back, or welcome in, rather. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking this button. It helps out a ton. And after all of that, be sure to check out the next video right up here. Of course, as always, thank you guys for watching.